Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. What is raw file destination? Where and why do we use it? So raw file destination is a destination that is native or proprietary format to the SQL Server integration services. So we write to the format in a, in a way SSIS can read and write quickly to that format and it doesn't have to translate to any other format such as we are writing to the flat file or OLED DB it has to translate the data to those specific specific formats so uh, the raw file in in other way is uh, faster um, uh, than um, our OLED DB source or uh, OLED DB destination or flat file source or flat file destinations so this format is uh, really quick because SSIS doesn't have to translate to the specific format and parse it so now let's go to SSDT and uh, perform a demo so let's create a new SSIS package by clicking on SSIS packages new SSIS package and give this name a uh, raw file destination so we can say pkg package raw file destination now to read the data from some source we need the data flow task and we will be using the source we need to use inside the data flow task I will be using a flat uh, sorry OLED DB source so I can read the data from a SQL server table so here I need to make a new connection if uh, there is already existing one and uh, I can use that one if you want to create a new one you have to provide the SQL server name and database name so I'm going to use the existing one and then uh, you have to read the data from a table or view or you can use store procedure with parameters even so here I'm going to use SQL statement I like SQL statements because if the definition of your table change your package would not fail if you have used uh, the columns instead of a select star uh, from the table so these are the column I want to use it next part bring uh, the raw file destination here so we have raw file destination and I was in the question what we have here why and where do you use it so there are multiple places where we can use raw file destination and sources so consider this one we do not have a staging area but we are reading data from some uh, source and implementing a lot of transformation and we want to write the data to some staging area and then use in the next data flow task uh, to load to our final destination so instead of writing the data to the uh, SQL server tables or uh, flat files we can write the data to the raw file destination and then uh, use in the next data flow task same way if you are um, given or providing uh, your files uh, to different departments in a company and uh, their packages uh, load those files uh, you can write the data to the raw files and uh, provide them and they can use the SSIS packages to load the data to their own um, databases and uh, you can also provide these files uh, to different vendors as well so uh, they can use uh, the raw file source to read it and then load into their system now let's go to the data flow task and here we need to configure raw file destination let's uh, check the modes we have access mode you can provide the file name directly or you can provide the file name from variable I recommend to use uh, the flat uh, file name from the variable why because uh, tomorrow if you want to change the file name you can use uh, that variable in configuration uh, and on different environments uh, you can uh, provide different names uh, to that file and uh, uh, those, that variable can be configured by using SSIS configuration so but in this uh, demo I'm going to use uh, the file name now the next part is uh, you are going to provide uh, the path where you want to write uh, that uh, file so click browse here we will say raw file destination now we can generate uh, initial raw file uh, this will be just uh, the metadata information it was going to create uh, we can go to columns and select the columns here whatever we want in our raw file so in my case I wanna uh, don't want a join key and all that this is just for the demo but in case I do really don't needed them I will not have these columns in the um, select statement but there could be scenarios there are multiple co columns coming from uh, uh, different sources at the end you want to ignore some of them you have the option here to select the columns you want to write to the raw file destination so now we can say generate initial raw file this is going to generate a, a metadata 
um, file with the metadata information so with these columns this is going to create a file let's go back here and take a look go to desktop we have output folder and here we have raw file destination let's open it open with notepad and now what we see here we see those columns so we see region code phone number and all that but they are not in you know, a well formatted like the way they should be in a, a flat file or excel file or xml file so they, they these are the, some random characters we can't really understand them and that if you see i have last name and that came with d at the end so this is a um, proprietary or native to the SSIS. S SSIS uh, does understand this format very well. In the data flow, that um, uh, format, whatever is uh, translated, it is uh, writing the same one to the raw file destination. So it doesn't have to do extra work to read this data uh, by using the raw file source. Let's go back here, take a look on some other options. What we have here, we have write options. So you can cre create always. Uh, that's going to create a new file with the same name every time then you have to create once it is going to create the file one time and if the file already exists there it is going to fail so if you want to append the data to the existing file you can use this one and this one is truncate and append so it is going to truncate the data from the file and then write the data back to the file so that's how it will work we can use create always now we are all good let's run our ssis package and take a look on the file how it looked like so it wrote uh, nine rows uh, to the raw file destination let's stop the package and go to the folder now our file size is 1kb open this one with the notepad and here what we see we see those uh, columns ha column header here and then at the end we see the data so data is not really uh, you know it, it is bringing those uh, uh, different characters with it and uh, but th this is good to read uh, with the raw file source you cannot read this data with the flat file source so it wrote all the data so th this is how you will be using uh, your uh, raw file destinations uh, um, to write the data from different sources uh, to the uh, raw file and uh, use as a staging area or uh, use uh, uh, as a uh, exchange the information between your, your between the departments or between the uh, different vendors and uh, they can read uh, these files quickly and load to their system thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video